new exhibit has opened up just for a limited time at the National Railroad Museum. And Emily Beyer is in Green Bay with more. Good morning, Broken Fish. Hello, everyone. We are here in Fuller Hall at the National Railroad Museum, and we are in the bar area. I'm joined by Jam Perdrone again. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit more about this experience. We're getting to learn a little bit more about this new exhibit. It is the passenger experience, and you can only see it for the next year. Right. So it's a temporary exhibit. It was created, actually, by our curator, along with our CEO and director of education. The three of them really worked hard on this. Um, but we also have to thank a lot of our volunteers because when you create your own exhibit, oh, sometimes yeah. you are building replicas <laughs> of things, and we have a replica of a tip tap yeah. tip top tap bar, yeah. so that's three times fast. Right, and it's fun. It's so beautiful to get to see and kind of imagine what it was like during that time right. between the 40s and the 60s, and we get to see how they dressed over here. We get to see the different Absolutely. plates and everything that people got to experience when they traveled around that time. Yeah, so we've got replicas of a Harvey girl uniform. Now, the Harvey girls actually had a code of conduct. Oh, okay. Um, you know, a lot of these ladies, now this was oh, when Harvey I girls actually started how... long before the 1940s. Sure. Um, so there's a really varied history, and actually there's a Judy Garland movie um, where she becomes a Harvey girl. Oh, wow. Uh, but yeah, their code of conduct was very strict, um, mm -hmm. and that was pretty cool. Uh, we've got a trainman um, conductor uniform. Okay. Um, I love this one. CNW. This is a Zephyrette uniform, and it's a replica of a Zephyrette uniform. Oh, fun. Um, they had two different colored uniforms because they had a spring and summer sure. and a winter fall. Okay. And the, the winter one was more of a heavier, like a, oh, a woolish yeah. material. So you would um, wear And that. it was in that lighter teal blue. And then the summer one was in the royal blue. Okay. And then over here, it's really fun to get to see how they were fine dining. And again, it was all affordable for everybody, it, which is pretty right. cool. But it, it, important because you're competing with airplanes and automobiles that are becoming yes. really popular during that time. Yes. So this is all on loan from Jay Christopher. And so this is some of the China um, from some of the railroads that we featured throughout that you'll see throughout the entire exhibit. Sure. Um, but some of the china that they used, I mean, they had a cake cover. So oh. you get your cake, an individual <laughs> cake, and you have a cake cover. That's very which nice. I think is really, really neat. Yes. Um, we've also got some of the cookbooks on display. And it's really oh. interesting because when we were preparing um, for our exhibit opening, we are kind of looking at what was in there. Tomato right. juice was huge. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it was Important. like you served at everything, <laughs> um, which is really kind of funny because you watch some... TV sitcoms that are based at that time and right. they kind of carry that through. Yeah. Um, but no, the food was all made from scratch and seeing um, a video of how they prepared food on a dining car, that yeah. you want to talk about an orchestrated movement. Right. Oh, I bet. It's going to be really incredible. <laughs> because so you they're have small. to be able to come out here and check it out again. You only have for about a year to check it out. We have all the information for you on our website, NBC26.com. Brooke and Fish will send it back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Emily.